<laughs> there it is. Warsubo sashimi. How does it look? It's freaking terrifying. It looks terrifying. Now she's told me to put this on it. It's sake. Put it in the mouth. Oh! <gasps> it bit the spoon. Oh, these are little alcoholics. Oh! What? This is crazy. These things are ferocious. Wow. Like there's no way it's still alive. It's definitely still alive. What does she think? She's like, yeah, it's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so curious. It's the only country I've seen this. It's like live sashimi where like the head is still moving on the plate. Why is that so popular in some parts of Japan? <laughs> um, she says, I mean, the main point is freshness. Doing ikizukuri is able to use an ability to show your customers that it's still as fresh as it can be. Because, I mean, obviously it's still moving. But for her, she also said uh, they've cut it, but it's still genki, which means still energetic. So you genki. can still show that it's still as... I think some of these traditions are really rooted in consumer confidence. Because if you think about it, if you go back hundreds of years before refrigeration, somebody could just have old fish or spoiled fish and try to pass it off as fresh and then I think over time that just becomes a custom to show like trust it's definitely fresh do you know that that's actually illegal in some countries to prepare like that uh, she says, no, she didn't know that other countries, um, this is illegal in other countries. The reason being is exactly as you said, they value being able to show their customers a fresh dish. And then uh, giving it a spoonful of sake at the end is kind of saying goodbye to it. <laughs> well, that's how I'd want to go. Dump some sake on my head. Okay. Do I dip it in soy sauce? Yes. This oh, in Saga, we do uh, soy, 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 soy sauce and wasabi. Soy, soy, soy. Oh man, I don't know if I can try this one. I might try the cooked one. Because it's looking at you in the eyeballs, is that why? I mean, you literally just shaved off part of it. It looks disgusting. <laughs> How about these two heads? Boom. Cover it with a lemon. No, no, no. That doesn't make a difference. It just, I've, it's just... not better? I've seen that it's its just literally the skin of the fish that you just shaved off. Oh. And it's, it's covered in blood. Okay. Yeah, I can't cover that. That's the actual food. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try it out. So this is super thin, almost like transparent. It's so thin. And the colors are kind of fascinating. It's so red that it's purple. <gasps> Maybe it's so purple that it's purple. Give it a little dip and let's go. Mmm. Oh, it's like a penis fish. Really? It's chewy, but honestly, the outside skin is like sandy and coarse. It's like grade one sandpaper. Well, Maybe... we did just fish it out of the sand and mud, so. I know you're a very sympathetic person. That's a good quality. Yeah. It means you're, you're human. Thank you have humanity. You. Thank you. On the other side of that, mm -hmm. this motherfucker tried biting me about 15 times. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your payback here. Oh, God, it just moved. <gasps> did it move again? Yeah. Have you ever had anybody get bit while trying to eat this food? No, she's like, that hasn't happened. It'll bite you if you put your finger in their mouth. Well, little guys, thank you for giving your life. That was pretty good, actually. I'll try it again. Oishi! Who knew? Aren't you excited that there's still two more ways that are even better that she could prepare it? Yes, so excited. There are three forms of warasubu here. I would like you mm -hmm. to eat at least one of them, but you get your pick. Starting in this corner, we have warasubo sashimi. Here, dried warasubo. And here, my favorite, warasubo shumai. What do you think of that? That's pretty creative. It is very creative. It also looks like the stuff of nightmares. It looks like a demonic cupcake. It does. It looks like the demogorgons from Stranger Things have just started uh, coming out from the under, the, from the upside down. So many great choices. As scary as this is, I'm curious to attempt that. And even suck the head? We asked her. <laughs> she did. Can we eat the head? She said, watch out for the teeth, but otherwise go ahead and suck the head. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I can take a bite of the shumai part, maybe. That's I think what that sounds do. pretty good to me. Yes. What I want to show you before we work up to this. So she said this is the favorite and most popular dish of warasubo. So what she said is to actually put that into sake. Yes. So here we have some hot sake. So I'm going to put this and just kind of let it go. Whoa, and it just gets magnified because it's in the glass too. <laughs> in this trip, I've had, what was it? Shirasu. Shidasu and sake, and then now we have the watersuba. It's Fish kind of head. become a little yellow. All right, let's try it out. Take All a little right. sip. Okay. How do you say cheers again? Kampai. Kampai. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. Kampai. 
It's so fishy. Whoa! <laughs> Usually I can't tell much of a difference yeah. when I throw something in there. Uh, I can tell. Yeah, me too. It like instantly changed the flavor of the sake. <laughs> and the color. Like that's how you know. Just all of the Warasubo essence has been absorbed into the sake. It's super fishy, it's offensive, it's bold, it's daring, unrefined. Do you know if there's any special health benefits with this food or is it just people like how kind of wacky it is? Not that I know of. I think people just like it for its taste, to be honest. People in this prefecture, at least. In this prefecture. Mm -hmm. Not... Some people I talked to in Tokyo actually didn't know what a warasubo was. That's what I love about this series, is we're doing food so far out there that Japanese people are going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I love how impressed even you are. You had so many of these, and you're just like, oh. And it doesn't do anything. Usually, it's like the puffer fish fin, and I was like, okay, it's cute. Yeah. This is like really changed the experience, and I can't say if it's for the better or not. I don't think anyone starts with that. Mm. I think when you're trash and you've had 10 sakes, then you're like, let's start putting fish in there. Yeah. So I got a little buzz going on. I got a little fishy buzz, and now I'm ready to approach this. Wow, look at that. Man, those heads are pungent. Good thing we have some chasers here. Well, the beer right is unmolested. <laughs> you wanna and grab one? Yes. Pretty freaking freaky. <laughs> oh, we can't eat the head, obviously, but I think we start with the shumai, and then from there, I'm gonna probably try to suck the head a bit. Hmm? Okay. Ooh, oh God, sorry. <laughs> this is a fly. <laughs> oh my God. Try it right. out so we can talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Get the head out of there. Half a bite. That's pretty good. It seems the head may just be for show. Like the outer shell. Oh, you got another bite already. All right. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of a chewy, satisfying, stretchy dumpling dough on mm -hmm. the outside. Well prepared, well seasoned. And that is full of the meat from tons of these little guys. That's a solid dumpling. I'm going to have one more because I always have to have two. Here we go. There's bones in there. It's like a little piece of corn. No one does this, do they? No. Nope. Yeah, I'm done. But the lady said you can um, suck on the Yeah, head. well, you can suck on anything, technically. <laughs> Doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Shizuka, we've done it. I'm inspired by your sense of spontaneity. Guys, we did it. We went out to a mud. People hang out in the mud, and that's what we did too. And we caught a bunch of these, and then look what we did. We made it into food. The, probably the most unique food that you're gonna find anywhere in Japan, maybe anywhere in the world. It looks insane. The most terrifying food you can get in Japan, possibly. All right, let's cheers. All right. We rocked it. All right, we did it. Boom. Cheers. Cheers. Quite. Mm.